So I seem to do one of these English lessons every year around this time. I like to talk about all of the signs of spring. For me, one of the sure signs of spring is when uh, Jen starts to put her little tiny baby plants outside. So welcome to this English lesson about uh, the signs of spring. So this isn't quite a mud puddle. You can see my old crocs here in the picture, but there's definitely some mud down here. This is definitely one of the sure signs of spring. Uh, there's definitely mud everywhere. Let's go a little further and I'll find an actual puddle. Ah yes, here's a real puddle for you to see. A real mud puddle down here. You'll see we've had a lot of spring rain. So rain is just rain, but in the spring we call it spring rain. Um, it tends to rain every other day here right now. And so we end up getting these puddles in our driveway and they have a little bit of water in them and at the bottom a little bit of mud. The dogs really love spring. Uh, it's a time where they can just lay outside in the sun. How you doing Walter? Good? They can just enjoy staying warm instead of uh, running around to stay warm. That's usually what they do in the winter. But today it looks like Walter's just relaxing and enjoying the sunshine. So uh, this is something I don't like in the spring because it's so muddy. You end up getting ruts in your driveway. You can see here that there are some ruts. The driveway, actually this is a little bit part of the driveway, a little bit part of the lawn. It's a little bit wet and a little bit muddy and if you drive on it, you get ruts. So it's nice to have some trees on our property that stay green year round. These are evergreen trees uh, or coniferous trees. But over here, we have a broadleaf tree, or what we call a deciduous tree, and they are just starting to leaf out a tiny bit. You can see that there are tiny buds, and those buds will eventually start to open up and leaves will come out. So it's nice to see that there are buds on the trees, and soon they will leaf out and we'll have leaves. Another sure sign of spring. In Canada in the winter, we do things outside. We go for hikes, we go snowshoeing, we go cross country skiing, but we don't usually sit around outside. We don't usually have campfires. As you can see here though, my son has stacked up some wood. He's getting ready to have a campfire sometime in the next few weeks, it looks like. Um, these are actually pretty big pieces of firewood though. Um, it's gonna be a pretty big campfire when we do light this up. But another thing that we start to do when the weather gets warmer, we start to actually sit around outside at night and have campfires, sit around and talk and have something to eat and drink. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm always excited when the tulips and daffodils start to grow, when they pop out of the ground. Our tulips this year again are in crates. Instead of planting them in the ground, we've started to plant them in crates because in the fall when you plant the bulbs, it's a lot easier to just put the bulbs in the crates and then fill the crates with compost. So here you see some tulips. They're definitely doing well. They're definitely popping up and we should have some buds and some blooms in a few weeks. Our daffodils though are just in the ground, out in the lawn. We actually plant these right in the middle of the grass. We put the bulbs in a number of years ago and they just come back every year because they are a perennial. So sometimes we dig them up and split up the bulbs and put them in other places but usually they just grow right here. They come up every year and eventually we'll have some flowers and we'll harvest them. The peonies are just starting to pop out of the ground as well. They're always kind of cool because they come up red, but then they do slowly turn green. So uh, obviously it's warm enough for them to start growing. So one of the jobs that we need to do every spring is we do a little bit of spring cleanup. One of the things we have to clean up or pick up are all of these sticks. Our trees through the winter tend to lose a few sticks and branches when it's really windy. Sometimes when there's a lot of snow on the trees, we'll lose some branches on those trees and we'll have to uh, come out in the spring and uh, clean up all the sticks and all the branches that have fallen on the lawn. It's also kind of nice at this time of year because the lawn starts to green up a little bit. Throughout the winter, the lawn is kind of brown and doesn't look like it has very much life in it. But as we get a little bit of more, uh, sunshine and the days are a bit warmer, the lawn starts to green up. I'm really happy as well because my wheat field is starting to green up. 
This is a winter wheat field. It was planted in the fall by my neighbor. I pay my neighbor to plant my crops because he has really big tractors and equipment. But the wheat field is really nicely greening up. It means it's alive, it's healthy, and it's doing well. So one of the exciting things I look forward to in the spring is if it's a year where I'm growing wheat, I love seeing the wheat turn green and start to grow. Sometimes at this time of year, I'll see some trays out in the field and if I follow the trail of trays, eventually I'll see that Jen's already planting some little baby plants in the ground. So pretty fun. I guess this variety is very cold tolerant and Jen's out here planting them in the ground. It's also nice to be outside wearing uh, just one shirt. I don't have to wear a coat. I don't have to wear a winter hat. I don't even need mittens or gloves. It's really nice. Um, it's not warm enough though for short sleeve shirts yet. That will come in the future, but right now it's warm enough that I can just be outside in a sweatshirt. So we've been pretty happy this year because the river has not flooded. Well, it flooded once, but that was way back when it was really cold, so it's not as bad. Right now the river is just normal, but sometimes in the spring, and this will probably happen later this month, it will flood and then probably some of my wheat will get covered in water. Um, that's not good for the wheat, but it'll only be a small amount. So right now, the river is behaving itself. In a few weeks though, we might see some flooding, or because it's spring, we would call it spring flooding. Sometimes during the long, cold, windy winter, some things get damaged. You can see there's a piece of metal that's starting to come off my barn there. So I have some damage on my barn. When I see damage, I make a note of it because I'll need to repair that damage in the future. Often in the spring, after a long winter, you see things that are damaged and then you know that you'll need to fix them. You'll need to repair them. Well, thanks for coming with me on this little tour of the farm as I looked at all the things that are changing as spring has arrived. I hope you learned a few English words and phrases along the way. It's kind of fun to come out here and to see all of the new life, to see the things that are starting to grow to see the brown of everything from the winter start to turn to green. And uh, I'm glad I could share it with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week with another English lesson.